Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Of course, my name is Blitzwing, and ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are a fan of a fantastic day. Welcome back to, of course, a brand new LEGO Dimensions news update. I hope you guys are having a great, great day. We have a brand new trailer to watch, so we will do that together in just a moment here. But, of course, we have some really, really cool announcements for LEGO Dimensions as well. There's some new pictures to take a look at, and uh, just lots and lots of really, really cool stuff. So we'll get to that in just a moment, but of course, as always, if you guys enjoyed today's news update and you want to see more, please don't forget to smack that like button. And, uh, ladies and gents, here we go. Three, two... One, let's watch the LEGO Dimensions Build Rebuild trailer! Here we go! Peggy 7! Why is Peggy 7 years old? Okay, so we start with the nice little wild style. Gandalf and Batman having a debate. That's and it looks like they're being summoned. Hold on, oh, 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 look at that! She's a master builder after all. Then again, Batman is a master builder too. I was quite fond of that carriage. Oh! Wait on a minute. Oh, you can actually. Oh, that is so cool. You can rebuild it. That's right. It didn't. Leave the building to the master. Isn't Batman a master builder's wear from from the Lego Movie? I'm pretty sure he was. All right, maybe I'm wrong. All right, we got some building to do. Yep, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna do that too. And there's Wild Style. I'm sure Batman's gonna be very upset about that. Take it apart. Okay, fair enough. And then rebuild, ladies and gents. Awesome. All right. So the vehicles are gonna have multi functions to them. Wow. Oh, they're Scooby. <laughs> That's amazing. The animation on that where he drives it. <laughs> Wait, re rebuild? Okay. So there's the third form, I guess, of the vehicle. It's like a scorpion vacuum cleaner almost. Every vehicle, gadget, builds three times. Whoa, okay, that's cool to know. That is super duper good news. So those vehicles are going to have way more value than they did before. That is awesome sauce. All right, I'm psyched. Sounds pretty exciting. There's just something missing. I think what's missing is that there's not enough space, no? This may take a while. All right, there goes Wild Style. Back to work she goes. And Lego Dimensions, ladies and gentlemen. Lego Dimensions. Of course, coming the 29th of September to Xbox One, PS4, Wii U, PS3, and Xbox 360. Wowzers, 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 wowzers. That is absolutely awesome. So, that is pretty exciting indeed. That is a pretty cool trailer because, again, for those of you that were like, hey, am I going to be able to use those bricks in a multitude of ways? I guess the answer is absolutely. Now, I'm really intrigued to see how will that work. I'm guessing they're going to use some of that technology that they have for the Ultra Agents uh, line, because if you've ever seen that line, they're able to like have little bricks that you scan into an app, and based on that, you, it kind of identifies what that brick is. So I'm guessing that they're going to use that for the vehicles, because otherwise, how are they going to be able to know? Like, it, It's not going to be able to scan the actual bricks, can it? So, hmm. I'm really intrigued. Maybe it's going to have multiple bases, like one base for the Batmobile form, one base for the um, Bat Blaster form, I think it's called, uh, and then one base for whatever the third form is called. I think Bat Ray. I'm pretty sure we'll get through that in just a moment because I have a little uh, info uh, lineup for you guys as well. But uh, that's quite interesting because, again, it's going to be really intriguing to see uh, how many forms those vehicles take and... Maybe over time they'll be able to add more stuff. Like over time, maybe we'll have like 20 versions. Not really, but you know what I mean. That would be wishful thinking. But still, hey, I can wish, right? Kind of, somewhat. Christmas is soon. Yay. All right. So <laughs> now that we had that awkward little moment there, <laughs> uh, let's carry on and talk about some of the other news for, of course, Lego Dimensions. Because today we finally have an actual official confirmation of the fact that it is indeed going to feature both the Ghostbusters and this is a bit of a surprise in my opinion at least Midway Arcade like who saw that one coming I'm genuinely going to say this I don't know much about Midway Arcade I wasn't I don't think I was even alive maybe at the time when that 
whole shtick was happening. Most of those games, when uh, when they were coming out, I wasn't alive, so uh, I'm not really too well versed on them. But I'm pretty sure that it's a mix of a whole bunch of characters that could be pulled from there. Now I'm really intrigued to see what that exactly means because uh, I looked up some games. Like I know the Joust is on there, which is a pretty well known game. Uh, Defenders, Gauntlet, uh, Paperboy. So I've seen a few titles that definitely look like could be adapted into uh, the LEGO Dimensions game, but I would love to hear from you guys. What would you like to see? What games from the Midway Arcade would you like to see? Like, what characters you looked at and you're like, whoo, that sounds interesting. I'd love to see that interpreted in LEGO form. Let me know in the comments section below. But of course, the other confirmation is Ghostbusters. I mean, come on! That is so awesome. That is absolutely phenomenal. I am super duper psyched that finally, I mean, we knew it was coming because we identified the Slimer little silhouette and stuff, but now it's official. Now we officially know, yes, we are indeed going to be getting Ghostbusters. So that means that at this point, the things that have been confirmed, again, I'm clarifying that statement, the things that have been officially confirmed, for sure, they're in the game 100% without a shadow of a doubt, is going to be The Simpsons, Doctor Who, Ghostbusters, Portal, Jurassic World, Midway Arcade, Lego Chima, and Scooby-Doo. So those are the ones that are confirmed, which is already a pretty stellar lineup. Super duper psyched about that. But let's get to some more info. So we now know for a fact that these uh, that the vehicles in the game are actually going to be able to physically be built rebuilt and then re-rebuilt into those three different forms and each one of them is going to have a different form which is again for those of you that were a little bit concerned with cost and value and stuff which is something that i was 100 percent aware of and i said myself i said i'm not sure we'll see how it goes once this comes out if it's going to be worthwhile because we'll see how much does this character set unlock so that's uh, kind of still a thing that i'm wondering but now we know that at least you're going to have extra play value like you're going to get in every time that you get a, a gadget or vehicle it's actually going to have three different forms not only in the game but in real life too because you get to rebuild it with the parts so that's pretty cool and quite exciting as well i'm really intrigued to see how they will work that because what happens if you lose one part or something like that that could become a bit of a nightmare so i'm really intrigued to see how they will work around that maybe it will be the bases that come with it like maybe three bases for the three different forms or something like that so uh, i guess time will tell and we'll see how that actually will work out uh, at the end of the day now, on top of that, of course, we got this brand new trailer, which featured some really, really cool gameplay elements, which I really, really liked. We saw some uh, quite really, really nice shots of uh, Scooby and Shaggy, finally. And I have to say, I love, and I mean love, the art style on the levels for Scooby-Doo, because they look like cell shaded They look like actual animated uh, designs, which is so cool. Like, you will be clearly able to see, like I'll put a picture right now, you're looking at it already for sure, of Shaggy. And you can just see the way that his face is done, the way that his um, t-shirt is done, the way that the uh, behind him, like the candles and stuff is done. You can see it's got this like animated feel, which is awesome because I really love that we're... Even though it's all a Lego game and we're in the Lego versions of these worlds, they're still going to feel distinctly different. Like when you go into the Chima world, it's going to be a lot more nature and castles and it's going to be a little bit more grandiose and almost uh, a little bit similar to, I guess, Lord of the Rings or something like that. Whereas when you go into the Scooby-Doo world or levels... As you can see, it's going to look animated and it's going to look way different to the other designs. And that's something that I hope we see throughout all of them. Because as much as I want them to look like Lego games, I also want the worlds to be distinctly different. Because again, that way it will really feel like you're traveling across world to world to world and using these dimensions to enter these worlds, which is pretty exciting and cool as well. So overall, that was absolutely awesome that we finally got a confirmation of, of course, uh, some Scooby stuff and the way that they look uh, and such. But uh, one final thing I'm going to run through before we actually get to the new level packs and team packs and fun packs and all that stuff that have been announced is A, I've been asked about this a couple of times. I will clarify once again, the game will be launching on September 29th and it will be coming to, of course, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and the Nintendo Wii U systems. Now, I don't know about mobile versions yet. I don't believe that they've confirmed like a PS Vita or a 3DS or anything like that version. Maybe we'll get that in the future, but I just wanted to get that out of the way because I've been asked about that, I don't know, about a gajillion times. So once again, just wanted to clarify that. So 
That being said, let's run through this real quick uh, summary about the built, rebuilt, and how all this works. So basically, it gives us an example of what happens when uh, you get the, in the start pack, you build the actual Lego Batmobile, uh, which enables the players to activate the accelerator switches. Now, the Batmobile can then be rebuilt and transformed into the Lego Bat Blaster, which adds Sonar Smash, a sonar gun that has the ability to break Lego sonar bricks. Very cool. The vehicle can then be re-rebuilt, I guess, again, as the Lego Sonic Bat ray which adds a special attack in the form of a missile barrage sounds pretty exciting and dangerous players can fuse an upgraded vehicle to the lego toy tag enabling them to take it and sorry to take it and any new abilities with them to a friend's game or wherever they'd like to play players can do this with every vehicle and every gadget from every pack so that's pretty awesome every vehicle has the ability to do that and you are able to have toy tags specifically to your vehicles so that you could identify them as your own, which is awesome and very cool. Now, they did say this, which is pretty exciting, enabling them to take it and any new abilities with them to a friend's game or wherever they'd like to play. Now, I hope that that means that there is online in this. If there is, that would be phenomenal. I would absolutely love to see that. That would be so awesome sauce, and I would be absolutely psyched. Again, it doesn't confirm that because it could just say, hey, just take the actual toy to a friend's game, but I would love if we would be able to get online. That would be so, so awesome to see and would probably be one of my favorite features uh, right off the bat because it's just exciting to be able to do uh, have that finally. Now... Let's then move on to, of course, the fun packs and the team packs that have now been revealed as an actual high-resolution pick. So let's go ahead and run through those real quick. So we have, of course, the team pack of Shaggy and Scooby-Doo with the uh, with the uh, sandwich ship or whatever they call it. I forgot what they were actually... Uh, what did they name it? The uh, salad... No, sandwich rocket or sa- sandwich snack? I think that's what they called it. Something like that. And then, of course, we have the mystery machine, which uh, I'm looking forward to see what the mystery machine gets rebuilt into. We saw it in the trailer there, one of the actual different modes for it, so that was pretty exciting. Um, I think the minifigs look phenomenal. I really, really like the way that Scooby turned out. Shaggy looks great as well. Uh, I love that, again, they have their individual little bases with... Uh, clearly identified stickers to indicate who that character is, which is really, really nice. And uh, I'm looking forward to see what the uh, different form of the sandwich snack thing is going to be because... (laughs) I don't know how many different forms you could have. Like Maybe like different sandwiches. They're like, hey, here you go, pastrami sandwich. Here you go, it's a tomato sa-. Well, there's no such thing as a tomato sandwich, is there? Maybe there is. I don't know. But different sandwiches, I'm guessing, which is pretty funny. Now, on top of that, we got some fun packs for Lego Chima, which is absolutely awesome sauce. So let's run through those. Now, the first one here, I actually completely don't remember the name of this particular character. And I do apologize for that. I want to say it's like en- Enz- Ezla or Enzla. It's not Ezla. Ezla is uh, frozen, isn't it? I'm already blanking. I'm sorry, guys. I have so many names in my head. Uh, but he, uh, he comes with the eagle character, which is pretty cool. I really love the actual minifig for this set because um, it just looks phenomenal. Like the actual armor and everything. It looks like some really, really good, highly... Uh, highly um, uh, Not highly quality. That doesn't make sense. Like highly detailed and highly... Uh, um, attention to detail, like, I, I don't really know how what the word that I'm looking for, I'm just saying, it just looks cool, I love that it has print work on the actual armor, then you have, like, a slip-on armor on top of that, and there's a little, like, uh, chest piece as well, with flames going through, like, that just looks really, really cool and neat, so, uh, it's really nice to see that a lot of these minifigures are gonna really kind of, uh, step up their game, so to speak, now, on top of that, we got Mr. Kroger, who is, of course, the bad guy of the series, and he looks pretty phenomenal, look at his sword, I mean, come on, that has gotta be, like, one of the coolest weapons that we've ever gotten like that thing just looks absolutely phenomenal he also comes with a little like crocodile uh, a little like um, almost jet ski type thing and again don't forget that thing is going to be able to transform into two other things which at this point in time we don't know yet but honestly I would almost like hope that they would keep that a secret not reveal to us all the forms uh, before the game comes out because hey I want to keep some stuff secret I want to be able to get it and be like oh my god this thing transforms into that like have that kind of you know fun little moment uh, um, to myself once I actually acquire the game. I think that would be a really cool idea for them to just not reveal everything, reveal as much as you kind of can, so to speak, without, uh, of course, uh, 
over revealing or over exposing the game. Now, next up we have Lionel or Loy- is it Lionel? I think it was Lionel or is it Lionel? I- I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's Lionel. I'm not well versed on Chima yet, uh, but he looks awesome. He has a very similar sword to uh, Kroger, but of course the flame design is a little different and the actual bladed edges uh, are different. He also does have the little flaming uh, chest piece, which looks really cool as well. Very, very neat indeed. And he comes, of course, with Mighty Lion Rider, which also will, of course, have three three uh, forms in total and two additional to the one that we currently see. So that's another fun pack right there. So all in all, guys, lots and lots and lots of very cool details have now become available for LEGO Dimensions. I have to say uh, the thing I'm most excited about this reveal is a, of course, I'm psyched about the fact that you can rebuild the vehicles. That's an awesome value proposition because if you tell me, hey, here's a fun pack that comes with a minifigure and one vehicle and this is the cost. But if, which I think is nine ninety nine, I'm pretty sure, or maybe it's no, it's twelve ninety nine, isn't it? Something like that. I'm, I, I'm, I can't recall specifically, but I'm pretty sure it's twelve ninety nine, something along those lines. Uh, and if you tell me like that's the cost, however, if you tell me, hey, yeah, that's the cost, but that vehicle can be then rebuilt into three other things and can be used threefold in the game. That excites me because, again, you're telling me like, oh, here's some more value for what you're purchasing. So I'm excited about that. On top of that, the other thing that I found exciting is the way that the level looks for Scooby-Doo. I'm super psyched by the art choice that they made there. I think that's an excellent move, and I would love to see that interpreted with all of the worlds that we uh, that they take on. When they do Ghostbusters, make it like maybe ultra realistic or something like that, um, and so on and so forth. Like I would love, 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 love to just have kind of the art style and the universe be true to the actual franchise. And that would be really cool to see. So, that being said, guys, there you have it. Lots and lots of news to digest. Let me know in the comment section below what is the thing that you are most excited for. Are you psyched about the Midway Arcade Edition? Are you psyched about the confirmation of, of course, Ghostbusters being a part of the squad now, which is quite exciting as it is? Or maybe there's something else that you found particularly exciting about today's news update. That being said, guys, of course, thank you guys so very much for watching. As always, please don't forget to hit that like button, share the video with your family and your friends, and I do indeed hope to see all you lovely folks here next time. Peace out, see you laters, alligators, bye-bye everyone.